Hi, I'm Audrey Blaise Stevens from the Geological Survey of Canada. I compiled a map with uh, lots of help on the fatal landslides across Canada since 1771. We find a high concentration on the coasts, British Columbia especially, uh, and southwestern Alberta, and also on, in Newfoundland as well. But there's also a high concentration in the Ottawa Valley. The Ottawa Valley, St. Lawrence Lowlands, the soils are uh, made up of sensitive clays that we call quick clays also. And these are easily triggered in a landslide. At one point in the early 90s, they realized that the, the town of Lemieux was going to be part of a landslide eventually. So they decided to move the people out of uh, Lemieux. And then the following year, in 1993, there was a huge landslide right at Lemieux that blocked the river for 1.5 kilometers upstream and downstream. It ended up flooding the river. So then the flood uh, ended up causing a lot of silts and clays in the, in the water that contaminated the, the uh, wells for the farmers. So the cost for that is in 1993 dollars was about uh, 13 million dollars. There are landslides in the Ottawa region as well, in the Ottawa area. It's just that it's been lucky that no one has passed away. Uh, we have no fatalities recorded related to landslides. When was the last landslide? The, that was fatal? Yeah. In St. Jude in 2010, a family of four passed away while they were watching TV downstairs in the basement. And it, the thought is, uh, or the trigger is thought to be uh, high pour, pour water pressure during spring melt that caused the failure. In the Ottawa Valley, uh, the, just north of Ottawa in Notre Dame de la Salette in 1908, there was the worst one uh, that is considered the worst in numbers. Uh, there were 34 people that died during one landslide. In terms of numbers for Quebec, it's their worst one. The second one actually occurred uh, 50 years ago today in St. Jean Vianney, where 31 people passed away. Our role is to provide the baseline geoscience information to people that are geological engineers or geotechnical engineers that, like for any kind of development, you need a geotechnical study. So we provide the baseline information and hopefully they will use it in their assessments. But they do the more detailed work as to where to build and where not to build. I just hope that this, uh, this information will be used so that the public knows more about this. There are some signs that you can look out for, especially in the spring. If you think you're built on clay, uh, you should look for uh, what they call tension gaps, which are cracks in the soil. And if you see a whole lot of them, then you should have somebody come and look at them for sure.